All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day it is for you at the time you're watching this. Uh, this is Tuan from Phantom G's bringing you the Mugen video tutorial on how to make palettes. And so basically, I will be showing you how to make palettes. Um, first off, you have to have your fighter factory open. If you don't know how to open your fighter factory, I don't have a video on how to open fighter factory, so good luck on learning how to do that. Um, hopefully, I'm just making the assumption that you do know how to open fighter factory. Next thing you have to do is once you have fighter factory open, is you have to open your character. To do that, you just go to file, open character, and then that brings up whatever folder. And then just search for your character's def and click it, press open, and then bam, your character is there. Next thing you have to do is go to your first linked sprite. And so all you really have to do is click animations, and it should be the stance animation on most characters. If not, just scroll through and find it by clicking these arrow keys. So I already have that done, as you can see. So I'm going to get to it. First thing you need to do is open your palette button. That would be this button, the palette picture. And then that brings up a palette edit box. So there, here is where you actually edit your palette. To do so, I'm going to zoom in right here. To do so, you just find the color, click it, and then change the color. That's basically what you do but how do you do this if you want to know what color where the color is on the actual color table that would be this square with all the colors in it you click your eyedrop tool and then you click the color on the character and it brings up a small selection box on the color where it's located on the color table so here it is once you do that you click this box right here with a red orange green and blue color and it brings up your color maker 3000 beta version 0 0.9 and here is where you make your colors for this palette I'll be making a red color so I'm gonna scroll to a red press or add it to custom colors for further use press OK and it changes the color on the actual uniform or clothing and so I find my next shade sometimes your colors are spread across the color table and some authors like to keep it neat. Thank you for this author for keeping guy neat. So I'm just going to click the next color. Open my color maker. Click the custom color that I just made and then just bring it down. Make it darker. Add that to custom colors. Press OK. And as you can see my palette is actually coming together. By doing this I'm just doing the same thing over and over until his actual color is changed completely don't have do it or your palette will look very ugly and I'm sorry but I will laugh at you because that's just the way I am so yeah just do the same thing change the color then add the custom color colors there may be more than one but for me it's just one custom color so yeah just add the custom colors Press OK. And then finally your your palette is changed. Maybe not all the way you want it to be. For me, it's not all the way. But it may be. For this palette, I'm gonna change the gloves as well as the belt, which are linked together the colors. What I mean by linked together, sometimes there may be colors that are linked with other uh, pieces of clothing or maybe even skin on the actual character. Like sometimes, let's say, it's not with this guy, but let's just say his uh, skin was the same color as his uh, actual uh, as his gloves. And so let's say I was changing the gloves, and then as I change the gloves, I also change the uh, the skin color, and so that's uh, that's just a mess up with the palette, and that's not very fun. I hate that personally. 
But, you know, sometimes you run into that, so you just have to work with it. Either not change the color or just leave it as, or just take the risk and then change it. So here we have my palette done. And once you have your palette done, to save it, you just click this icon right here. It's the pencil over the floppy disk. And then you save the actual palette. And so because slow computer is going slow, it's taking a little while to save. Sorry for the small inconvenience. So once that's saved, you close out of the palette edit. And then to view your palette, you just scroll over to a uh, color palette and then you open it. Press the open button. Then find the palette that you just made. Press OK. Uh, I forgot to say, make sure you save your palette inside your character's folder where the other palettes are, the other act files are located. Your act file is your palette file. Just in case you didn't know that. So yeah, please save it in your character's folder so that way when you edit the def and then put the palette in there you can it won't be any errors or anything. So once you upload it your or once you open your palette, you just click that palette that you just opened and then click the second to last button on the second row and then it changes your character's palette. And so now every spike that you view, it uses the palette that you just changed it to or in this case just made so you can scroll through your sprites and then see if you miss anything see if there's anything messed up that you don't like and you can fix by actually going into the palette again and then fixing that so to change the character's def file while you're in fighter factory once you just made the palette you just click the def icon and then scroll down to the act file where it says should say at palettes colon one by line and so you can add your palette in this case it would be rbx but I already have that there or you can just change the name of the one of the palettes to the palette that you just made and then make sure you have the dot act on the end and then just click the save button and if you added it let's say I just added a orange palette and that will be my third palette by line so I will scroll up to standard palette order and then add a comma and then put three because that was the third palette in the line and that will be that so I didn't make an orange palette so there will be an error if I selected that palette but once you're done with that just press the save button and then now your palette is in your def file and ready for mugen so uh yeah, that's all I have for you today. I just taught you how to make a palette for your Mugen characters or Mugen, however you want to spell it, say it, or whatever. I just showed you how. And then, so yeah, if you have any uh, questions or comments or just need straight up help opening Fighter Factory, just uh, post a comment or send me a message on phantomgs.forummotion.net. You can find the link to the right under the video description. And that is that's all I have for you today. Hope you had fun watching this video. Hope you loved my beautiful voice. I hope you uh, learned, actually, really, I hope you learned something. And now you know how to make palettes. So uh, have fun making your palettes. Send me your palettes if you want to. Don't send me your palette. Don't send me the actual act file. Send me a GIF because if you send me the act file, I will not download it. And I will never see your palette. So yeah, send me a gift, and that's all. Uh, I will see you all later, and hopefully maybe in another video, teaching you something. So yeah, stay golden. Peace, y'all. Have fun making pallets. Goodbye.